Just what is your your first impression of, of seeing Kyler and Hollywood back together now at, at the NFL level? Yeah, you know, it's great. I, I got to talk to Kyler last night. I know he's really excited. Um, uh, those two guys had a a great relationship, uh, both both on the field and off the field. Uh, we're very much in sync. Um, you know, they're both they're both football guys. I mean, they 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 both love ball. They love to work. They they really enjoy the process. Um, both want to win. Um, they were great, obviously, for us at Oklahoma. And yeah, you just never know in the NFL that if guys are ever going to get an opportunity to reunite like this. So I think it's uh, I think it'll be a great fit on so many different levels. I think it'll um, you know open up the field as, as as Hollywood is typically able to do for open up the field for Kyler and the rest of the offense to really operate and obviously gives him uh, somebody that he really really trusts. Um, and has a lot of built up uh, trust reps experiences with over the years that, that will certainly count so that's uh it's certainly gonna be fun to watch those two back in action coach we hear about that all the time the the, the chemistry that exists between a wide receiver and a quarterback how does that typically manifest itself from your perspective and your point of view well it's it's such i mean they're they're positions that are so so detailed um and so I think understanding what people are going to do, how people are going to adjust. I mean, you got to understand these, these decisions, as you know, as we know with football. I mean, they're, they're, these are split second decisions, and and without without the ultimate trust, you're never going to get elite results. And and when you get to a league like the NFL, where the quality of ball is so high, the other players are so good, that that trust to me becomes even more important. And you just you don't often get to see you know a lot of great continuity. Uh, between receivers, quarterbacks, um, and and within an offense. So, yeah, I mean, I think uh, obviously just the, the initial benefit of bringing in a really good player is always going to help. You know, always going to help. But the added benefit of their experiences, I think, will you know help them start off so much further along than maybe if this was their first experience up coming together. Talking to USC head coach Lincoln Riley, coach. I know you got your hands full with college, so you're probably not scouting the pro game. But just in in your you know your your experience with Hollywood Brown, to be able to put him in an NFL lineup alongside DeAndre Hopkins, how do you think he would play off of a great receiver like that? Yeah, that no, could be could be a lot of fun. I mean, on the uh, it certainly looks like the you know, skill sets that would complement each other very well. Um, and you know, I think the the initial initial hope would be is that you've got two guys that that you know you feel like can win one-on-one against anybody and then if you you know, if you start double covering one of them then, then you've got the other guy that can make you pay and uh again i do think they're two skill sets that are very complimentary and uh, with with a guy like kyler throwing them the football some of the other skill positions they have around and and then you know obviously we know the, the job that cliff does um in terms of, of matchups and Moving guys around and creating uh, creating space, I, I think it'll uh, I, I think it'll be a great matchup. I mean, it, it it makes total sense. I think it was a really smart move by by the Cardinals, and and you know when you've got all that group together with with Cliff calling the shots, it's got a chance to be pretty explosive and very tough to stop. Coach, what kind of player was Hollywood um, when you were coaching him in college, and has he developed? Has he changed at all based on your evaluation of him in the NFL? He was a very hard worker. Uh, you know, kind of came in, um, kind of very much under the radar. Um, you know, was and, and really just kind of worked himself into becoming a great player. He's a great practice player. Uh, mm. He practiced extremely hard, extremely fast, um, and was just always working on his craft. And um, and you combine that with his natural speed and, and ability to track the football down the field, it, it just became very impressive. And and that's I think one thing that everybody will see there is uh, his everybody sees the speed like any, anybody on earth can 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 see that this guy's pretty fast but on top of it most people aren't able to track a ball running full speed down the field with another guy hanging all over you most most people can't can't track the ball um at the level that this guy can and so yeah it's a it's a cool combination um and yeah i do i think he has a continued to improve he's i think his, his game's more versatile I know he's really worked hard on his body uh, to become a more durable player. I know he's been pretty durable here as of late. Um, so, yeah, it's been fun to see him improve, and I, I think his confidence will go through the roof as he gets a chance to, to get back with Kyler. 
Talking to USC head coach Lincoln Riley. Uh, coach, I would actually ask you a similar question about Kyler Murray. He's obviously going into his fourth year, and the Cardinals have improved every year he's been here. What have you seen from Kyler once he's gotten to the pros? And, uh, yeah, a lot of similar things. I mean, the guy loves football. I mean, he he breathes, sleeps football. I mean, that's that's. I don't think we'll ever change with this guy. Um, I don't know that I've ever had a player that loves football as much as he does and uh, and wants to win as bad as he does. And so, I know he's really excited about about this move and about some of the things that are going on in uh, in Arizona. I, I think there's a lot of confidence to you know start from where the team was at. Um, and you know you you uh, you know you start if you have the first pick. I mean the, you know you're I mean you've got some building to do, and to see the consistent improvement throughout the last few years is uh, uh, I think very exciting for him. And I know he's extremely eager to to for the the, the team um, the organization to to take the next step. And uh, you know he's a guy that's just going to do anything possible to get that done. That's just that's just how he's wired. So. Um, yeah, I think he's seeing defenses better and better. He's uh, understanding how to pack, attack people better and better. Um, and I think just getting more confident. I think the game really, you know, you hear when guys start kind of playing elite level that the game kind of slows down for them. And I think that's what's happening for Kyler right now. So it be fun to see him back healthy um, with some great weapons here. And I know he's uh, – I know he can't wait to get started. Coach, as you well know, football is played by people. Talk to me a little bit about Marquise Brown and the person that Marquise Brown is. He's a neat kid. He really is. He's got a. It's really an unbelievable story about you know when he was in junior college and you know was working, had to walk to work every single day, and and kind of had to. He had to fight his way into becoming a. a a really good player getting the educational opportunities he did i mean all of it and uh he's had to earn it he has not been given anything and uh so i think he's an appreciative humble kid uh because of his background um he's a guy that uh, i think the locker room will enjoy you know he's a guy that's not you know he's always kind of one of the, the team favorites in terms of you know treating everybody well fun to be around um but but he is a competitor he wants to win and he wants to play at a high level so um i think he'll be equally as good for the locker room as he will be uh, running down the field catching touchdowns coach we appreciate coach, the insight thank you thank man. you for the time man yeah absolutely appreciate you guys having me on god bless you coach that's a uh, usc head coach lincoln riley Joining us there on the 72 Sold Sports Line. Get your price at 72sold.com. I, I naturally say good luck at the end of those interviews. Yeah. Um, but I would go easy on ASU, though. But I just figured I'd just let him. <laughs> 